Welcome back, guys. So I want to share real quick why I play these games. I play games like AI games and emergent gameplay because there's no linear pre-programmed story to them. You can just make your story as you go along. Same with Shadows of Forbidden Gods. And same with AI games. And same with a new game coming out in December called Axioms of Dominion. So let's hop into medieval problems. So, this time I think we're going to give out all of the royal treasury. This prob's gonna destroy me. <laughs> um... So yeah, the royal advisors are preparing for this day for years. They give out all royal treasury, buying loyalty people and ensuring their support for succession. The kingdom become peaceful and prosperous, but royal armies weaken. Okay, that's... How did we gain prosperity from that exactly? We gave out the treasury. <laughs> I don't know. Revolt of the vassals. Um... Let's raise the taxes higher as punishment. So, I'm probably going to get a revolt, a huge one after this one. The barons are outraged when you raise their taxes. They start a revolt. It manages capture a castle and you're able to escape a nearby port city. Revolt is put down by local garrison and you're able to retake your castle. Okay. Delightful Cuisines. Let's go to this feast. The advisors are shocked at your command, but you ignore them go to the feast. The entitlements are expecting food delicious. After a feast, you meet the king of neighboring kingdom and discuss trade relationships between your kingdoms. Okay. Food shortage. So one thing, religion can play a role in this game. Uh, so if we offer 10 piles of grain to Demeter, goddess of the harvest for help. Um, it can happen. It can. Your advisor is concerned, but you tell them not worry. The next months, they're in full bloom and able to sustain the kingdom's people. Good. It worked. So now we have some unrest. Let's see. Have the trees whisper the name of the leader. We misspelled leader there. You order your people. Have surrounding trees whisper name leader in the wind. After several days, they whisper the name of the current king. The people get out of hey, but all men... Do not revolt. <clears throat> now, if you haven't like, been accepted in Voyage yet, it's awesome. Uh, we're going to host a feast. Post a feast. So, you or your cooks prepare a feast and celebrate in the peace. The entire kingdom is fed. Farmers have time to plant and harvest new crops. That's good. We still have a 29% military economic disaster. Let's see. Let's close... Close down a few trade ports. This perhaps will bounce out. I don't know. Um... Okay. In shipping fees. <laughs> oh, the people hate me now. Um, 
Okay. Let's... Okay. Release... Okay, this may be a famous... I don't know how to spell this. Release the Kraken. This is from Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm thinking of, so... I, I don't know how to spell it. Um, so... Let's release the Kraken. Uh, release. Hopefully, your vice. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know how to spell sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. Alien Invasion. Farms? Seriously? Cato. Pult. There. Catapult their ship. Let's see how what happens. You are a sizable catapult constructed capable of striking overboard and into the alien army. After a few weeks, the catapult is complete and launched. It flies through the air, strikes one of the alien ships. The ship bursts in flame and crashes into the ground. The other ships, however, realize the threat and begin to attack your forces. You manage to hold them out, but the kingdom suffers heavy losses. Our military's going to die by this point. Um, we can just type send the army armed with flaming swords. We can type anything, it'll generate it, so. So the army sets out, catches goblin by nightfall. The battle is fierce, with many soldiers on both sides dying. But in, in all goblins slain, and survivors are captured. So the people in neighboring town are found to be innocent. Aliens are back. Um. So. So. Let's see. Make a pact with a another kingdom for help. Hopefully this can boost our military because it's at 11%. Send a messenger in the nearby kingdom asking for help. They agree and send me a large army. So we got more military now. But they eventually retreat in their own land, sadly. We still need to boost this military humongously. Barbarian invasion. Oh crud. Um. Arm the. Pray. No, let's see. I won't get created. Construct the alternate weapon. Oh, I swear sometimes. <laughs> so yeah. Construct the all knit weapon. You call upon blacksmiths build all knit weapon. It is large metal monster with five legs and large flame belching gun on spat. It is so heavy that it can only be pushed by a dozen men. On day battle, the barbarians arrive to find metal armor. They attack it with spears and arrows, but are unable to penetrate thick metal hide. They call upon their shamans to attack the metal monster, but metal monsters flame gun fire and kill two shamans. The barbarians retreat and face this new threat. That's an interesting one. Um... Send a few scholars. <laughs> Send the best scholar down plain. After a few days, the rift closes and all scholars perish. That's... That's nice. Um... The barbarians are back. Okay. Burn. So if they have a link, just burn it down, I guess. So
So, that's just, if you like this, remember to comment, and like, and subscribe. Tell me what other games you like to see, that kind of thing. So, it's sometimes, um, so let's do this again. So the neighboring kingdom is destroyed. You are a land burned. You are worried to spread your kingdom, but the flame men keep bay because you have won the favor of the gods. So we fix the weak state of our kingdom this episode. Pick two. <laughs> I don't know. We'll continue this possibly next one. It doesn't have save feature yet, so we'll see. See you guys in next episode.